and uh, Matt Hahn's run uh, pretty much sealed the uh, sealed the ball game for them. Um, I loved the first half. I loved our fight. I loved our competitive um, competitive spirit. I thought we were the the harder playing team in the first half. Uh, but Alan Griffin was terrific uh, getting on the offensive glass. Uh, and we played with pay, we played with the right pace on the road. Uh, we had a lot of deep shot clock possessions. Uh, Purdue was, was so good in this building and in transition. And uh, you take a bad shot, they're one of the elite teams in college basketball, and they can be paid for that. And um, but uh, you know, Dre, I think, makes an M one to tie it at 48. And then uh, uh, Georgie was never a part of this. Uh, this game really tonight, and that was part, partly attributed to them, and then uh, us not finding him. Uh, but um, you can't go on the road and take 33s, uh, especially when you're not making them. And uh, you know, then uh, uh, you know, Harms was terrific, not only offensively, uh, but defensively. And uh, you know, 40 to 18 points in the paint pretty much summed up the, the difference in the game. <clears throat> Brett, different starting lineup tonight. Was there? Was that the strategic reason? Was it disciplinary yeah, reason? No, it was just. Um, I thought Trent was pressing a little bit. Um, Trey's been really, really good. Um, no, didn't take long for Trent to get in there. Um, I thought it was just about uh, uh, getting settled on the road in a tough environment. Trey's Trey's become a terrific leader. He gets us into offense. Uh, I thought he did a good job of that. DMP for Adonis. Me. Uh, Tevian had a good game tonight. Just, you know, uh, got in there and <coughs> shot the ball fairly well. You saw a different one than I did. Um, Tev was good. Tev, I, you know, it's, 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 I see Tev light it up in practice. And I see Alan light it up in practice. I'm still waiting for that to. To, to translate. Um, great effort by Tev. Great effort by Allen. We see what they both can do defensively. We see what they can do uh, on the offensive glass. Um, and uh, and yet, uh, uh, we know they're really good shooters. And we're taking we're taking we're taking too many hard contested shots, and that's something that we've, we've got to get away from. And the, both those guys are doing that. Trent and AJ both talked yesterday about finding the edge that you guys had and put together that winning streak. Do you feel like maybe you got closer to that tonight than especially oh, yeah, we played hard. hard. I thought we played hard. I, you know, I thought it was I thought it was give Purdue a lot of credit. Uh, you know, I mean, I, we set out to do a lot of the things we wanted to do. But, um, I've yet to watch a film of Grady Ivey. Then you'll get an offensive rebound. We we um, we all did too, which was. Which was pretty good, um, you know. And, and Nogel was a guy who got a lot of offensive rebounds. Won the Indiana game with rebounds. Uh, he didn't get any. Now Harms hurt us uh, uh, in that area, but uh, and then I thought we done a, did a great job on on Ryan tonight, and, and uh, you know we knew Carson was going to get his his baskets, and and, and yet we um, we knew Harms had been playing awfully well coming in, but uh, you know twenty one and ten was. A little much. But it's, what, what makes it pretty tough to defend when arms when they can use arms the way they're using him right now as far as getting into the basket so easily? Well, I think you've got a couple things. One, everybody knows they're a very, very good shooting team. They're extremely unselfish. They're one of the top teams in the country in assists. Um, so they're going to shoot it, which you know, the three-point line is a great weapon for them. 75% of their points come from there. He gives them a legit post threat. And then you have Carson. Uh, I don't know. He's got to be. I'm going to draw a blank, but he's pushing 175, 180 free throw attempts. Um, that gets all three of those bases covered pretty well. You know, perimeter shooting. Um, you know, the offensive rebound like crazy. They're top 15 in the country. So you add Matt to that uh, score in the paint. This becomes a very, very, very efficient offensive team.
Brett, uh, Trent obviously hasn't been as efficient lately. Io maybe not as efficient lately. Um, Georgie, you know, this this game. Is there anything you're seeing with those guys, or is this just a tough team? Welcome to the Big Ten. A lot of good players, a lot of good coaches. Yeah. Real quick, just want to uh, ask another question about Carson. Just how difficult is it to deal with him when he's going downhill like that, basically, when he's attacking off the dribble as opposed to, you know, taking a lot of outside shots? Well, I don't think it's any secret. I mean, I'd rather have him shoot twos and threes. Um, and, and, you know, I think it's pretty evident that he's not going to pass. Uh, I don't know, did he have an assist tonight? Mm -hmm. I can't even see this. No, he did. So, in six turnovers. It's give and take with Carson, and uh, you know we, we 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 thought we could bother him with pressure, and and yet we know when he goes, he's going to go and try to get fouled. He's not going to pass it. So, um, you know that's 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 the give and take with a really good player. You had an answer for Purdue on there to start the second half and tied it up, yeah, for you. Just what maybe did you didn't do the second time when they got another one going? Kept shooting three after three after three after three. Uh, we didn't get the wrong paint, and and one of the things that's frustrating is is uh, we're not getting to the foul line. Those are those are the things you have to do on the road is get to the foul line, and, and uh, uh, those are tough displays. And uh, you know, again, give them credit defensively. Uh, I thought we took a couple really quick, hard contested threes, and uh, uh, those will those will. Those will come back to bite you every single time. And in the first half, we just played with great pace. We had, we had the shot clock under 10 a bunch and were effective and got on the offensive glass. And, and that's the way you have to play on the road. Brad, for the most part of the season, you've been able to overcome some of those height disadvantages. What do you guys have to do to, to negate that and you know, get ahead of it? Recruit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, you gotta, sometimes our, our, your best post defense is your perimeter defense. And we still have, by far and away, the fewest post touches of any team in the Big Ten allowed. And um, but again, tonight it was it was you got to have ball pressure. Uh, you got to take that away. In the first half they had three, and I know but we just allowed a wing catch. And uh, you know when when you're play like we do denying, you can't allow those. Anything else? You said yesterday that your second team uh, kicked the dog out of the first team, and, and the box shows that the second team was a scratch against Purdue. I'm wondering particularly about Kipper, who didn't shoot very well, but how did you feel he, he performed defensively? Well, you know, I, I mean, I thought Kipper competed. I thought he tried. You know, and it's, sometimes it's not, uh, it's, it's not easy guarding somebody a foot taller than you. Um, but... Uh, you know, he got some good looks. Uh, he made a great play to, in the first half where he actually drove it at, at Williams' kid, which is what we talked about in scout. Just just, just go right at him, just drive him, make him move his feet. Uh, that worked. And then uh, you know, a little more difficult with harms. But, um, yeah, I thought Kipper was fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Players down. You have a call out.